Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty moon Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue I was lost to the menace of my mind Sucker punched by love most of my life Told myself I would always toe the line Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me, especially for today's video. Also, sorry if I sound a bit groggy by the way, it's super early and I just woke up as you saw, so yeah. Today I thought I'd kind of do like a daily barn routine, day in the life, general kind of horse update thingy. Yeah, sure, that makes sense, we'll go with that. I did one of these last November and it was my first ever video, so that was kind of rough consider this like this video a redemption for that dumpster fire hi there everybody i'm amelia dreambell i'm a trainer here in jorvik and i train across a few different barns around here today i'm with my cross country team's horse named dash and we're actually Ugh, like i said dumpster fire but whatever Cringiness aside, today is my turn to do the morning chores, more like everything, since Georgia is on vacation for like I think the next week and a half. On top of that, my workload is doubled now, since Wade was deployed earlier this month with Bones. He's a Yorvik Ranger, so he won't be home for quite some time, sadly. There's a lot going on on that side of Yorvik that I won't get into. I threw on one of his hats since I miss him a lot as well, so... Yeah, I know, ew, gross cup stuff, yucky. Anywho, ramble session over. My first task of the day is feeding, clearly, and I can already hear Rainley kicking his stall door for breakfast, so off we go before I get a migraine. I'd like to think that the FLAC has a good selection of feed in case you ever feel like boarding and want to know that info. I mean, of course you can bring your own, duh, I mean, it's your horse. Anyway, there's one side of the feed room that is neat and tidy, and then the other side is just... We're not even going to pay attention to that. I'm very much a put things in glass jars and bins kind of target girl, so seeing all those random logos and supplement jars, it just it messes with my brain, so I'll just explain everything in front of our cute little feed chart instead. The FLAC uses a variety of feeds for different things, of course, like Rainley gets two cups of balance feed and then two cups of complete since he's an athlete. The brand varies, but right now he's on Triple Crown. I really like Neutrina Pro Force for Rowan, and sometimes I mix a little Buckeye Trifecta as well, along with his joint supplements and stuff, you know, because ETBs, they need those joint supplements. They both get a complete vitamin too with Omega keratin, all the good stuff that horses need to live and breathe. So now I'm just taking you guys with me and we're gonna go feed Teddy first really quick and give him his oral paste. Usually Teddy doesn't have his feed soaked, but today he does since he has an abscess. Poor guy. Hey, buddy. You hungry? I know, come here, let me see your mouth. I know, I know, I know. Come here. Good boy. Okay, Rainley is such a grump when it comes to feed. He has been banging on his stall door since I mentioned the word feed. You wanna eat, you little fatty? Be good. <laughs> mm. 
Next, I want to talk about carrots. I just fed him all his feed and hay is soaked because I mentioned a few weeks ago that his teeth are basically little nubs, which is horrific and sad, but it's okay though because this little guy got a new owner. So everyone say thank you to my Polarworth for taking in carrots. They are perfect for each other. A down-to-earth horse for a very down-to-earth person. Honeyplant just recently retired, so now he's on senior feed, soaked, and a ton of supplements. He's turned out most of the day as well. I mean, after 21 years of work, he deserves it, right? Hi, buddy. So now it's about time for my first ride of the day. So we're just gonna go head into the lounge so I can put my boots and my helmet on. Sorry, I'm gonna have to put you guys on the floor. Can you see me? Okay, good. That'll do. So today I'm riding a client's horse who's on vacation for the month. She just needs her leg stretched and work to keep her in shape. Bless my stable hands, by the way. And bless Nisha's heart for tacking and grooming this horse for me. Okay, hopefully my GoPro is working because I'm going to be using it a lot today. And Nisha's going to get some different angles as well, so you aren't just stuck looking at Meru's neck. But yeah, this is Meru. She's a 15-year-old Danish warm blood, mostly a hunter. We're just going to do some flat work so, you know, she doesn't get fat while her owner's gone. Good girl. Alright, bend in that corner. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Good job. Don't hide the tears cause I know you're breaking. All this love and all this pain you've given. All this love. Now it's about time for my first lesson of the day. It's a private hunter lesson with my student Brielle. She's going to be riding Dash in preparation for a show coming up next month, I believe. We're taking Teddy, Willie, and Fabio too, so it's like the golden four. Brie is a very good student and has beautiful equitation. I just worry about her lower leg sometimes. She doesn't really squeeze with her knee as much as she should. Another thing is cutting corners instead of bending through them, which is a huge no-no in hunters. See? Very good, very good. Shoulder back, shoulder like a queen, hips like a, you know, yeah, I can't say that word. Don't let him lean at this jump. He's gonna do it if you don't hold that inner rein. Do not let him. And three, two, up. Ah, that was late. Try again. I do, I do, I do, I do. So Brielle's lesson was a major success. She did really well and I'm very proud of her. It's about midday-ish now, around one, uh, I want to say 12 or 1, I don't know, I gotta check my phone. But it's around turnout time for Fabio and Montero and since Nisha has her hands so full, with all the other horses, I figured I would just go turn them out, and I've been meaning to pay Montero a visit anyway, so here we go. To go Hi, 
buddy. You look so handsome. You want a treat? You want a carrot? So yet again, thank you to Nisha for tacking up Rainley for me. He's being kind of weird today. I think he knows we're going to the sand pit, and he loves the sand pit, so this should just... It'll be great. <laughs> we have to work on his patience when coming up the jumps. The Golden Leaf Gauntlet is coming up again, and I'm debating on whether or not to take him or Rowan. In order for Rainley to go, I need him to relax, because he loves to take giant distances and almost kill us more than he should, especially at ditch jumps and step-ups, and those are already terrifying as it is, so, oh my god, and table jumps, he loves to rush those. So I'm sitting here and waiting, he's deciding... If he wants to spook or not. See, look at his ears going. What are you even... Okay, well, he's decided he's going to investigate now. It's chickens, Rainley. You see them every day. Okay, well, I guess he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Recently I've realized I like doing it all with you Take my hand, twirl me around Hold me close, don't ever put me down Every time I look at you, you're looking back at me, my dear So now I'm just unpacking Rainley. Our ride went pretty well. He didn't rush as much as I thought he would, and he worked up a good sweat. Our distances were a little iffy, and he was really into... Hey, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. Well, here I am. Bones wanted to talk. Are you sure it was Bones? Okay, maybe it was me. Figured. How is it? Is the forest creepy? I mean, it's kind of creepy. I don't understand why people are so scared, though. But Bones has been brave. Is it that right, big boy? I believe you. All right, I gotta go. Miss ya. Bye-bye. I miss you, too. Bye. My second and final lesson of the day was a huge group lesson with quite a few boarders and their horses. We did some general flat work and they all looked beautiful. They're they're so good. Somebody else help ourselves. Our troubles on the shelf. Don't you worry. We're gonna find Hey, Helmet Camomelia here. So now I'm going on a little trail ride with a few students, and I decided to take Rowan out with me, despite his attitude today. So this should be interesting. Walk on. Come on. Hey, 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 whoa. Oh, Lordy. Are 
All right, don't pay attention to the other horses. Come on. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadow in my room Caught between cowboy clouds and misty Silver dress, sparkle eyes, crystal blue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was lost to the menace of the mind Sucker punched by the most of my life Told myself I would always tell the lie We had a lot of fun on the trail despite me taking a little spill. Other than that, we just talked and hung out and we had a light dinner at the campsite. It was really relaxing and I'm very thankful I have such great company here at the FLEC. I wouldn't trade it for anything, honestly, even if it meant Rowan would stop trying to kill me on trail rides, but what are you going to do? There are rats. I am absolutely exhausted. I'm going to do the nighttime feeding lock up, put on my pajamas, and then I have a date with my bed, a bowl of ramen, and 10 episodes of Outlander. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed following me around for the day. This was, it was fun and exhausting. <laughs> I had so much fun. I'll see you guys again next week. Uh, thank you again. Okay. I love you. Bye. How long until the end? Cause I'm past the point where I can amend. I don't love myself, but I can pretend. Repeated cycles in my head bring me down. And I've been itching at the back of my head, the crown.